My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Against the Storm, where I'm not a goddamn cow, but you're a coward. I'm so sorry to have said that to you. Just don't call me one. I swear I'll go into the place where I died last run, where the cold hearth itself became a cold hearth. Uh, it's situated between the overgrown library modifier here, where one of our starting blueprints is replaced with a wild card, as well as Fishman Ritual Site. Uh, orders are disabled here, which is the easiest source of many different things in the game. So this is a really, really hard modifier. But we did just run this, and I do like running it back to see if I can adapt my strategy and learn and grow and become a better do game person uh so let's do it one thing it seems like i need to resolve uh, or rely rather on resolve for some reputation gain at some point that seems relevant to me so in the world where i am reliant upon that doesn't it seem like having harpies and foxes would be a good idea? Harpies and foxes don't really share that many needs. I mean, they only share the complex need of tea. But the real benefit of this is that it is relatively easy to fulfill the foxes and harpies as they have a very low threshold before they start giving you reputation from having high enough resolve. Now, I kind of want to just, like, immediately house them and things like that. I'm going to need additional villagers if I'm only taking two harpies and four foxes. That's... it's 100% necessary, I think. I really do want to take a farm with us of some kind, but I worry that maybe the better decision here is a diverse set of resources. Especially courtesy of the fact that we are starting with just eggs and clay, as well as all of the base goods we typically start with, but eggs and clay. I could take an ale delivery line if I really wanted to. We don't even have the additional four reserve embarkation points that we had last time here, so... That's a little bit sad. Hmm... I'm also going to have to make sure that I invest in uh, trade much earlier than I did last time. As I will be able to buy things through traders to help me out. Mm -hmm. I am kind of stuck on this decision right now. Uh, you know what I might want? I can't just take oil and hope that one of the quests in a dangerous glade that I break into asks me for oil. That seems like a little bit short-sighted on my behalf. Alright. I'm going to take 14 planks, and I'm also going to take some more stone in with us. This is now, uh... Dilaria, but it does respect caps. Perfect. Does sound like an old-timey disease, I do apologize about that. But it'll be a successful settlement nonetheless. Okay, our horror, uh, positive forest mystery, rather, is scavenging season. Increases the chance of doubling loot from events solved during drizzle by 25%. Ugh. <clears throat> what do I solve during drizzle? What event do I start working on during the storm? Yikes. Uh, from one and above, unless people are housed, they are going to be experiencing 40% slower movement due to fog. Three and above is acid rain, 50% lower production from production buildings. Four and above, we have insatiable hunger. The chance of consuming twice the amount of food on each break is increased by 10% for each hostility level. And then finally, vanishing goods. 
they have a higher chance of consuming double the amount of goods when receiving services. 10% extra for each hostility level. Alright. We'll be looking to skate below those lines for a really long period of time. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get shown who our third species is here. Ooh, very, very easy, dangerous blade to start cutting towards. In fact, I feel partially tempted to try and cut immediately into that dangerous blade. When I say partially tempted, what I think I mean is I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alright. Let everyone get about their business. Uh, I am probably still going to take the workshop. But the workshop solves a problem maybe that I don't have. Which is, while I do want to have good production facilities for the sake of the, you know, ongoing uh, expenses, planks, you know, the, the base building materials. That's what I'm looking for the wording for. While I do want to have that, I also have to worry about the fact that if I don't have any way of gaining additional resolve for my people, this is already kind of doomed, as we saw last time. What I want to do is get an early big shelter and two harpy houses down. That would be great. Just like a harpy house there, a harpy house there, and then a big shelter. Boom. Right there. I think we can wait a moment until we decide what else to do. Every time you open or send to abandon cages to the Citadel, plus one to global resolve. I'm gonna take the 10 amber every time a trader arrives. Really helps get our economy starting. Even if 10 amber means significantly less than it used to. Okay, I can't resolve this with any of the options that would allow us to calm the spirits. We do have the 15 amber, we just don't have incense, resin, oil, tea, or scrolls. The alternative option can be done with coal. Resolve will drop 500% faster whilst I'm working on it, but it will give us plus one to brick production going onwards. Here's a weaver for fabric production. Three star fabric production. You know what? It's not feeling like I'd take a workshop at this point. So restart fabric production, plus we get plus one to brick production by base. That does make a crude workshop pretty viable. Get one of them down. So then instead, I should think about what is going to be a better option for making both the foxes and harpies happy. Treatment would do that, but it's still pretty deep to try and do that, as... Show all. For treatment, I would need a tea production facility, as well as a reliable source of herbs, pigment, resin, mushrooms, or roots, a reliable source of water, and then a reliable source of metal. That's a lot. That's just a lot to ask us to invest. So we'll definitely be burning this down. Now, there's two and a half minutes left in the drizzle. And then let's say like four minutes for both Storm and... No, okay, I... I don't want to wait and then try and trigger sensitivity at the right time so I can possibly get a 25% chance of getting double pottery from this, that doesn't seem as useful as just completing it early. Let's 
slick shell brood mother here so we have large trappers camp requirement always happy to see that to be frank i kind of want to hold on to my star building for as long as i possibly can right now it's not like i have free workers who can really build anything right now so why not I think we can keep at it this way for a while. Ultimately, the thing that should stop me is wanting to house people. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, I do want to get this weaver really early, because with that weaver, I'll be able to make the fabric in order to house the harpy. a single harpy in there starting to make fabric in a bit but let's let the foxes actually build the rest of the camp especially because we have foxes and harpies who have very low result to start with we need to house them and we need to also get the encampment up for the plus two global resolve before the first storm otherwise they're just gonna run away Arc we need as well. That'll do. And in fact, that will start getting us resolved. The harpies are already happy enough. Uh, courtesy of the fact they also have their preferred housing and clothing. But still, useful. Storm's starting to roll in. We'll be taking everyone off wood cutting in the season. Actually, only one fox is unhoused at the moment. And I could change that to a harpy at a drop of a hat. I wonder how we'll get through this season without taking more woodcutters off. Yeah, completely fine. As it turns out, completely fine. So I guess I can throw my two additional foxes back into woodcutting. Continue expanding around the area. Love it. Uh, don't really see myself putting a small hearth up there. Newcomers tell us that humans are the final people we're waiting on here. I can accept them, then just take one person off of wood cutting, and we're good. Humans, eh? So with humans, we now have shared like of pie, clothing, and biscuits, all with harpies. And the humans share porridge with foxes. Porridge is already constructible out of the field kitchen, so I'm going to drop a field kitchen and start making porridge as soon as I can. Porridge requires grain, herbs, mushroom, or vegetables. Uh, grain, herbs, mushrooms, or vegetables. None of those are currently available where we are. Okie dokie. We 
only have 12 people to house at the moment, so we're still not really going to be getting to the next level, our neighborhood. We've also got another dangerous blade to break into immediately in the next season. And I should also get the trading post ready. I do like tucking the trading post away somewhere. It doesn't need to be near things. Honestly, right there would still be fine. It leaves three blocks. Three blocks? That's four blocks, actually. Next to the main warehouse where I can build buildings. And then this trading post, as soon as it's up, will allow the first trader to arrive as soon as we get to the next year. And when they arrive, they are going to pay me. Old Fedora Hat. Increases the chance of doubling event loot by 50%. I mean, that is nice. Is it good enough? Mist pierces, you can see what's through the forest. But each discovered glade increases the queen's impatience. No, thank you. We're on a legendary year. I'm going to take a reroll. I'm looking for something better than this. Improvised tools. Discovering a glade during the storm grants 10 tools. I'm not wholly against doing that. And in fact, those tools will make it much easier for me to just open some caches in order to get the Queen's Grace, in order to get some reputation. Okay. I'm... Something that produces... Biscuits? And tea? An apothecary would do that? That wouldn't be a bad unlock here. Though, I'm still gonna need the ability to actually use soil. Let's also fill back up the woodcutter's camp, immediately tell you to cut into a new blade. have almost made all of the available fabric. Every workstation's not allowed to make fabric, but you can make bricks and planks. And you can do each to a degree of 15. What about clothing? Where is clothing fulfilled? Artisan? Mm. Encyclopedia, show me the artisan, please. No, that's definitely not what I'm looking for. It's just coat production for us. So there's the apothecary with the ability to provide tea and biscuits. Tea much later as a resource that I intend on and biscuits earlier. The only problem is I can already make biscuits using a field kitchen. What I don't have is the ability to make flour. I have no plank production, I have harpies in my employ, and I have no flour. What this all says to me, there's also leather from the Slickshell Broodmother, should I get the Trapper's Camp at some point in the future. What this all says to me is that an appropriate choice for me right now would be the supplier. I want flour production, I want plank production, 
and water skins are going to be important at some point in order to contain things like pickled goods. I'll take it. Beanery! Beanery, baby! That's the ability to make porridge at a three-star rate. Humans and foxes both love porridge. Over the moon to see that. Still currently not really capable of exploiting it, but I will exploit it soon. Jorg arrives and pays us 10 to do so, in addition to the 20 we were already holding. We're looking pretty good. I almost feel like maybe I should take your herbs. I'll wait until we cut down this tree so I know what's going on in here. Oh, that's not good. Dirty coats. Thirty fabric? How how easy is thirty fabric for us? Pretty hard. Down here, we would need an herbalist scan to take advantage. Oh God! There's a freaking supplier down here. Uh, if I just waited and opened this. I could not have known that the one ruin there would be a supplier. Um, two tools. I could buy two tools from Jorg and use those to solve the event here, giving myself a Queen's Grace. In fact, I think that's an excellent idea. Which uh, shimmy a couple of them bad boys over to me, please? Well, at the very least, I get a thing. Oh, no, the forages camp. I, I need advanced camps of so many different types. Forages camp, herbalist's camp, and slick shell broodmother requires the Trapper's camp. Ugh. I want so many more things than I do. I'm gonna take both of the weavers off the job and get them into picking berries. And then I'll throw the leftover humans into the crude workstation. I'm almost about to put down a rain collector. Because I'd really, really like to be able to make porridge. I have a beanery. Oh, and I'm already low on food. I can't believe that I'm not actually capable of harvesting any of the food resources I found in these glades. Maybe I should open a non-dangerous glade one of these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the idea either, but um, I'm actually intimidated. And also, people will starve soon. Foxes especially. Make an offering. That'll lower hostility by 10. Woo, yay, love that. Doesn't really solve what's wrong for us, but... break open this large abandoned cache so I can grab some skewers, some meat, some pipes, and some barrels.
boxes are officially starving. Figured that was probably about to happen. That's why I'm trying to break this open. I don't have enough stone for that right now, apparently. Oh, that's so much fertile soil up there. Also, additionally, no food in here. Well, of course. Um... Muppies resolve is low from their hunger now. It's okay if I favor them. We'll still be doing okay. Fox's resolve is now low due to the hunger. Please bring back and eat food very quickly. Yep, they did it. Their hunger is starting to decrease. Woo! <sighs> and they're also bringing back skewers, so the foxes should get even happier. Also, this late event down here is done, getting us... Woo! <laughs> yeah! A small farm. That is gonna be crooksial. What do you mean? That's pronounced difference. Um, now I have a repeatable source of food again, and I can actually take advantage of having all of this fertile soil nearby. And there goes all of the amber from the event. I wonder if I would have had a significantly better time if I tried to wait until the storm to open these glades. I suspect not. Newcomers have arrived. Uh, yeah, I'll take one more person off of woodcutting and accept the newcomers right now. Why not? Roots. That's more food, and I'm still feeling pretty food insecure. But I also want humans, because humans farm. Thankfully, all of those additional people just fit into houses we'd already built. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty deep without me seeing a geyser at this point. I'll do it. D don't test me, I'll do it! I'm making a rain production facility! That's going to be especially important when, uh, not only, you know, I want to make porridge, but also because currently... This is weird. I wonder if one farm is enough to do all of this. Uh, but also because currently I'm not going to be able to utilize the grain out of the small farm unless I transform it into something else first, and the easiest way to transform it is into porridge. God, there's a geyser up there. That's the nearest geyser, and it's in a forbidden glade. I think I've opened enough glades for now. It's it's gonna be a, a year or two until I open another. get this glade event to resolve hopefully oh wait i can't double the effect to get an obelisk oh, so i'll just get my negative 10 to resolve now a negative 10 to resolve excuse me sorry hostility now
grain delivery line. Three grain per minute. I feel like grain is going to be outmoded pretty quickly, but this will help me get there. I'm going to take it. Advanced Rain Collector. Hello. It's also a smelter. If I wanted to make copper bars. Scouts pack for taking additional items to events. If I'm frank, I think the Advanced Rainwater Collector is what I want. Do it. Yeah, I want it to be there, but I'm going to smooth that path out as soon as the herbal camp is done. Realistically, it should be something like this. that down. I want to know if a small farm will work. So a single small farm can get all but three tiles here. You know what? Let's do that. If I need to change something additional in the future for the sake of that, I will. But for the moment, I would like to see how that works. No, I'm fine, old Faloof. Unless I want to buy out your bricks. Which I don't. to be a bit more efficient, move it nearer to our warehouse. Uh, I've also got to remember that it's time to get our blight post online. And to prepare for the incoming 10 blight cysts, I'm not going to be able to do that unless I have planks, so I should start generating some planks. Which it's fine if all of my building crew is dedicated to doing that because I'm not going to be able to build without doing that. Ah, never mind. This small farm. Uh, well, I'm not really going to be able to do much in the small farm before the end of Drizzle, so that small farm is going to have to be active at the start of next year and onwards. Ugh. great, but it'll do. Now I also have enough people housed here to want to develop in the public infrastructure, additional parks. Though it's worth noting that those should be significantly lower priority than the Blight Post. As they also contest uh, wanting to have a planks. Uh, 
I have enough drizzle water collected this season. They can take all of my boxes out of that building. Time to get the blind post up. Immediately I'll stock that with the Double production from Harpies would actually be really good right there. We get three Harpies involved. Decided to arrive. I love parts and I'll take bricks. Also, an additional human, it's certainly the kind of thing I'm looking for. What with the small farm. Harpies are no longer fully housed, neither are the humans. That's going to require some additional brick work. Some additional fabric. That fabric, actually, I should already have online. There we are. We've created not enough yet, but we will have all of the purging fire that we need ready at the right time. And I actually think I could break into a glade near the end of this season. This, sorry, not this clearance season, the end of this year, the start of the next drizzle. Because if I do that, I'll get the 10 uh, 10 tools. And with 10 tools, I... Oh, I already spent all of them on that event. I would immediately be able to get 0.5 reputation as well as another 10 amber, and that would give us, uh, in addition to a little more happiness, uh, another blueprint. Okay, I'm... It's only 20 seconds left. I will leave those harpies in here. In fact, I'm going to tell you to prepare for 15 purging fire so that you are doing something with this period of time. I do want humans to be in the small farm. And honestly, I'd be fine with running at two hostility as long as the harpies aren't sad about it. I have enough resources to use the beanery now as well. They're going to be sad about that. All right, I'll take as many woodcutters off as need to be, and it seems that's all but one. Which is going to make it really hard to break into a glade during this storm. I mean, the nearest glade is... A forbidden glade, but the problem is that could easily just instantly kill me by not having enough resources to solve a thing that is pretty dire. I tell him to open this glade, and then as soon as it is open, I'm immediately going to take the woodcutter off of the job, which will balance out the additional, uh, the additional hostility of having opened the glade. Now, white fighters are on the job, diligently burning away.
Speaking of burning away, all of our full, uh, food storage. However, that is about to get bolstered back up. What with the beanery and all. Uh, speaking of the beanery, though. Do I need to connect pipes to you? I do have more pipes than I typically would in an instance like this, and I do really want to take advantage of the advanced rainwater collector. Yep, doing it. production problems here. Uh, I should still be making some bricks. That's at least relevant to human housing. Harvest resolve is low. We discover the additional thing. I can take you out of that job. Oh, an herbalist scan. Thank you. Yes, I want that. there and rebuild that. Also scored some rain punk barrels in here. That's some free decoration. Hello. Hello, Jog. Eh, you're looking to sell me a clay pit or a herb garden? I'm sorry, you're a little too late. Biscuits can now be produced at the kiln okay. and rain mill. If I already had a kiln or a rain mill, I might consider that. Lumber tax. Gain one amber for every 50 wood produced. There's also cooking steam. Food production speed is increased by 15% for every 50 units of drizzle water stored. We're capable of storing up to 100, unless I want to build another advanced rain collector, in which case I can get another 100. One amber for every 50 wood produced. We are on the Royal Woodlands, so I still do want to take that. I think it's a good source of money for us, in addition to the other frequent sources of money we have. I'm not even trading yet, I'm still getting back. Light posts. Get a woodcutter's camp stacked back up. We're entirely out of grain at the moment, but that's okay. That's going to start getting generated yet again. So I have an ideal job for some additional harpies at this point. Alright. Let's let some builders roam around and do some stuff. Yep, that porridge is certainly working out well. The foxes are actually favoring us now. And in fact, I do want to try and send this cache to the citadel now that I have the 10 tools to do so. Jorg is about to leave. I just think I'm probably best served by keeping the money at the moment. Uh, 
I'd love to have some more folk. Monde. That'd be really nice. Can I afford to expand more yet? Because the hostility is going to get really out of control really soon. I haven't even built the supplier. Whoa. idling due to things like lack of uh, grain off the job. There's the weaver, but I already have that. A brewery for ale production. I don't really especially care about ale. Pickled goods and packs of crops. I'm already good at pickled goods, or as good as pickled goods. At pickled goods, rather, as the brewery is. I'll take a reroll here. Tea house and druid's hut. So tea house is best in-game generation of tea. Tea can come from resin, as well as water, as well as dew. Dew can be made in the beanery. Let's check this quickly. For resin. Okay, so we're double dipping on resin in order to create this. I do think I could theoretically make tea. The big reason that I should care about this is because if I can make tea... No, wait. I'd have to be able to make tea and serve it. And I'm not going to be able to serve it for ages. Okay. Druid's Hut is giving me the opportunity to turn grain, which I will eventually have an excess of, uh, as well as plant fiber, into oil. Oil is good. Also gives us incense and coats. Fine. Give me druid's heart. Right there. And eventually I want oil out of that. I've also got to tell this to stop making vegetables, please. Just make grain. Newcomers arrived, bringing with them tools. Oh, five people or three people? I'm gonna take the five. Been signaling that I want more people this whole time. Very subtly by saying, I need more people. eventually give those foxes their preferred housing, but it's going to take us a while to get there. Yeah. So now in a season that the advanced raid collectors haven't even hit yet. Uh, crude workstation, crude workstation. Throw people back in you to use bricks. No, I still don't really have much for that. Actually, that's what I need. I need some clay production. Small Lambert's camp has nothing nearby. Now it does.
yeah, it feels like allowing them to take all of these additional fertile soil is just making them more efficient. Seems like they're still hitting all of the fields. And there's our housing done as well. Great, don't have to worry about people getting affected by fog. take pretty much everyone off of woodcutting again. I still do want to be below three. So that I don't have to worry about halving all of my production. Interesting. The harpies are very sad. I guess they are no longer especially clothed. doing jobs they're proficient at. Getting a, a fox in the hearth lowers hostility a uh, pretty significant amount. If I sacrifice a stack of wood, there we go, a fox in hearth will be enough. Second harpy on weaving. And I guess we leave everything else open. I am very tempted to try and break into a dangerous glade before this season ends. otherwise going to get resolve points while I'm here. There's gaining additional tools somehow and opening them. Probably shopping, admittedly. That's still not going to get me to my next blueprint. Annoyingly, it does feel like expansion's the correct option. Back into producing some pickled goods as well as some porridge. I mean, do I want humans making coats at an awful rate? Yeah, I guess. Gives them something to do through the storm, at least. to start making flour as well, but I'm going to run out of grain really quickly. Everything wants grain. Everything I'm doing. Uh, grain for porridge? Grain for the flour? Grain for oil? Which I'm not even going to use at the moment, but it is what it wants. I'm not going to break open another glade just yet. I'm still scared. Oh, 
Hello Bliss. Plus three to pickle goods, each production, and 10% extra chance of double yields under the effect of education. No thank you. Six packs of provisions every time you discover a new glade. I'm still leaning towards just trying to buy as many tools as you'll give me, but that's not going to be many. Nine. Whoa. Silent looting. Every time you open or send an abandoned cache to the Citadel, hostility is lowered by 15 points. I like lowering hostility. I don't think I have the ability to generate enough money to actually buy enough tools to be able to do the opening immediately. Alas. Every year that passes without me solving core problems of how I gain resolve uh, makes the game harder as the hostility raises and it becomes even harder to gain enough reputation or enough um, resolve with people in order to gain reputation. I'm just not sure where I can find these. Harpies, you want food as well. What if I... Don't have the ability to make uh, jerky? I do have the ability to make biscuits right now, but not many. Should get someone making them though. How am I stretched so thin again? I'll take some workers off of the small herbalist's camp. That's the field kitchen. That's our biscuit production online now. And I have no woodcutters. Really? That seemed to be the case. I'm going to need woodcutters is the thing, so I'm going to have to free up even more workers to do that. Uh, I'll take two humans off of their production and a another fox off of producing rainwater. lower hostility by building hearths in additional areas, as well as increase the resolve. I think I should. You wanted to give me nine maximum. What if I just buy bricks from you, Bliss? That seems to be much better. Those breaks will help me to uh, expedite the process of putting up these additional halves. 
When I say these additional hearts, there is only going to be one initially, but afterwards, sky's the limit. Right, thank you. Insects, pottery. I do like pottery, but I don't know if I like it enough to turn down an additional human. That's a bunch of builders. Take the rest of them off the job. Now I've got stone cutters to work with. I've got the ability to refill the small herbalist's camp. I can free up all of my humans out of the woodcutters' camps they've previously been in, throw some of them back into the druid's hut so that we're continuing to make fabric at a breachable rate. Foxes and harpies both need to be housed yet again. In fact, we have some free workers to even build that. Yay! It's like our grain production facilities aren't stepping on one another's toes as much as they previously were. Although, I should tell this production facility to get a move on. clearing that area first, because that means my hearth can go down. Ah, oh, right next to the... the... copper? Copper the clay, rather? Yeah, I guess so. This is also pretty close for people to walk. I'm... I'm happy not even having to put down an additional... warehouse up here. Yet, at least. And I'll migrate as many homes up there as I need to in order to get it to prosper. So I only need to have 14 people here, it means I could take 14 people away. And wouldn't you know it? I think I can do that. in a garden, and we will get plus 10% to global production speed, as well as plus 2 to global resolve. Our foxes and our harpies are happy enough between porridge and pickled goods and biscuits and clothing uh, that they are starting to give us resolve. We're going to get a blueprint pretty soon. Humans are getting in on the happy action. Starting to come into our storm period, though. I believe I'll get that blueprint before that happens. There it is. 
Tea House, you're back. As well as the Forest's Hut. The Forest's Hut would offer us the opportunity to be able to generate our own crystallized dew, bypassing the entire laborious process we'd laid out previously to generate tea. The only problem is, this is a plan to get a Forester's Hut to then give me the ability to make tea to then give me the ability to serve tea. We are three blueprints away from that actually having an effect on the game. I have to reroll here. Please stop offering me things I have. I I beg of you. I'm going to have to just save up more money and reroll that again. I already have a weaver and to us, Druid's Hut is the same as Press. It's just access to better oil production. Just enough corruption now. Okay. So I will be looking for my location for my next half. And honestly, I'm not entirely against just popping it down here and propagating as many halves as quickly as I possibly can for the additional resolve and the additional production speed. See, if I want to do this, I want to do this right now. So that's what I'll do. And this one could definitely utilize a small warehouse. Admittedly, the other one probably could too. Um, it appears that I do not have enough fabric production going on at the moment. Go fix that up. Next priority is going to be making the makeshift posts so I can start generating some packs of provisions. I don't have infinite berries, so I'm only going to make 15 at a time right now. This additional half provides us nothing right now, so I don't need to stock it with a human yet. We have a bunch of builders, although now the Building projects are all done. So this run's definitely doing better than last one, but I still don't feel like I have a consistent source of reputation generation. I feel like breaking into glades is our best available opportunity to get additional resolve. Hello, Renwald Redmain. Uh, Woodcutter's Prayer, plus one to wood production, but lose all stored fuel. Also, calming water. Hostility is reduced by 10% every time you use 150 units of engine, uh, water in rain engines. Lose all stored fuel. Only 91 wood, and then I get plus one to all wood production? That's great. That's good. Ooh. 
tools, eh? Do you like tools? I don't have enough uh, people where housing an additional group is worthwhile. shop looks like a nightmare here. Don't really care about any of that. I'm afraid I'm going to have to fill that advanced grain collector as soon as possible. So, vision's coming up soon as well. I want another woodcutter's camp. And then I want to fill that woodcutter's camp. with that. We'll start getting packs of provisions so that I can start trading soon. In fact, I'll tell them to deliver early just so I can possibly send some things out. Parts, don't want to sell those. Read. Copper ore. I can definitely sell copper ore. In fact, I have exactly enough. Uh, I could wait until I have two more if I wanted to. No, let's sell those to Distown's Tristown. Hmm. And I'll sell 13 Reed as well. Why not? How many fields did they manage to sow before the end of this season? Because currently it's looking like they're not going to sow all of those fields. And if they don't manage to sow all of the fields, then I need to get a second uh, farm here. Biscuits? No, I don't really want to do that if I can avoid it, thanks. We do have enough light removal as well. We're about to be overwhelmed. Time for our reroll. Distillery and plantation. Plantation, the ability to generate more berries and plant fiber. And distillery, the ability to generate wine and barrels. I think I need to save and reroll the game. That doesn't prevent me, it present me rather significantly new capability of what I can already do. our trade routes in this new season. Bricks are selling actually pretty well here to Distown's Tristown. 
So I should definitely get a couple people in food workstations starting to make more of them. But I definitely have enough clay to do that, and we make them at a better rate, so... Easy. I'll turn roots and mushrooms also into flower happily. Yeah, I don't manage to sow all of these fields. Can't believe I've only just seen that. Oof. Extreme oof. Is here for everyone. And that's enough back to provisions. Oh, well, he's happy yet again. I should probably actually do at this point is turn on the crystallized dew production. Make a total of 24. That'll be the ability as well for me to distribute uh, some fox specific housing, which is another plus four to their resolve. Close to another point of reputation. Unfortunately, we're just off of it now. Uh, we're not going to get that before the next season, though. I don't want to sell even more bricks. I already sold some. And that was too many. Yeah, here's my big concern. Is this season change? Okay, never mind. I can still keep one farmer and with... Well, one farmer, one woodcutter, rather. That'll do! I thought that was going to be significantly worse for us. Uh, pickled goods. That's a really good rate for selling pickled goods. Happily, I will sell 20 gold worth of those to Sora Urethil. And Victoria, I mean, look, I don't want to sell copper ore. I do want amber. Oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. I don't believe I managed to put people into... Oh my god, cyst burning in time. Yep. They're like a couple seconds late to start the job, but I think I'm probably gonna lose uh, lose some people here. Please don't let that happen. <laughs> Please. <laughs> We're getting close to the point that if I wanna prevent this, it feels like I need a second uh, flight post. It's growing slower now. Uh, that'll probably be a couple units dying in a second. Yeah, just not fast enough. Call that a big yikes. Alas. Uh... Take some new workers. Let's go 
a couple of them in the main warehouse. Just stay in there for a bit. Get some harpies making druid coats. As well as back in the weaver. Cannibalism. 30 media every time a villager leaves or dies. <laughs> Would have been good a second ago. Uh, haulers take fewer breaks. No, I'll take a reroll here and plant fiber or roots every minute. I'll take the plant fiber. Crystallized dew. I am producing that now. Yay. Ooh, grain. I can sell 26 terrain for 10. Sure. I don't want to sell much flour though. Hello. Hey, Jorg. Rotation. Biscuits can now be made. Increases global food consumption. Consumption, sorry. Production speed. I'm going to buy out all of your fabric. With the 52 remaining, all farmers can carry five additional items as well as increase global food production speed by 20%. Sounds good to me. Right. I definitely want to fill back up the woodcutters camps as well, so I need to reclaim some workers. Uh, the advanced woodcutters camp de definitely needs all of those people right now. houses here just just four and then I'll delete other buildings until I get the appropriate amount of people in the appropriate areas although I should set up a park prematurely knowing that that will be useful need to unlimit fabric production as well. I kind of feel like I should own put a glade. But that's because I guess I haven't seen the reroll of this or even the next building. Selling porridge. I do want to do that, but I need to have more porridge to feel like I can. Sell one stack of it. Oh gosh, I don't even have any open builders. I mean, I might if people didn't die. Source this area of herbal deposits. We'll take these three foxes and allow them to start building for us. the ability to re-roll again. I'll take it. Herbalist's Camp and Clothier, the best coat production in the game. I will take that, actually. Um, we'll immediately tell you all to stop 
stop what you're doing. Also, make up to 50 oil out of plant fiber at any one time. We do get consistent plant fiber generation. And then the cloth, yeah. Goes here, and we want full coats. So using one fabric instead of three fabric to make 10 coats, that's so much more efficient. Oh my god. Uh, selling berries to three cities is a pretty good rate at the moment. I'll sell 16, and that's all the rest of our packs of provisions at the moment as well. Yeah, I'm going to need to expand again. Let's do it at the end of this upcoming year. So that I can also get the 10 parts while we do so. So, with 14 people there, 12 people here, if I move over, a human house and a harpy house, I can get this back to 15, I can leave this on 14, and then I have 8 here, which is the ability to get our plus 2 additional resolve to everyone. Well, hey! This is not planky enough. Wait, hang on. Supplier, you're making planks. What are you doing here, buddy? You're... I haven't even prioritized the plow. Why have you got no planks on the go? Oh, never mind, they do. They just haven't delivered them yet. As well then. You're not gonna believe this, but I think you should <sighs> No, we don't need that much at once. I'll take you off the job. Wait, this one's slower? The horse delivery at this. Everyone off of woodcutting, and that gets us. Oh my god, everyone off of woodcutting makes everyone immediately happy. We are managing our hostility pretty well, I think. Based off of that metric and that metric alone. I do want to do as much building as I possibly can during this season. Take advantage of this time. The only problem is, I still don't know what I want to do. Wait, hang on. This has already been re-rolled. Smelter and tool shop. Tool shop is the ability to produce tools at the best available rate in the game. I can use Crystalline's Dew to do so, and in doing so, I create the ability to win the game. Boom. Tool shop, that's it. Yep. Uh, you can hear. <laughs> you can hear the vocal difference as I recognize we now actually have a way to win. I'll take care of the Black Rock while it's low so I don't have to worry about it killing me suddenly. So I've got to keep this one off to the side somewhere uh, in storage for later. Oh, there's so many people who are free to work on something. Let's get a stone cutters here. I'd love to get some sea marrows, speed up events at appropriate times. Seems a good idea to me. Newcomers want to arrive right now. Oh, ooh, parts and tools. I don't need you right now, though. But 
I'll be back soon. Well, the air start making those coats. Gold goods production is stopping now. Got a good amount of crystallized dew. Uh, near the end of the season, I will swap a couple of people into this uh, woodcutter's camp up here in order to break into the glade just before the season ends. sad about that, and I'm um, producing lower yields from the buildings. However, this ritual, ale, wine, incense, scrolls, training gear, tea. I suspect incense to be the easiest of those for us to generate. And I do want to perform this ritual, as this is a global resolve bonus of, I believe, an additional two to everyone. There's also a drizzle water geyser in here, which could legitimately be quite useful. More soil? Mm, this looks good. Okay. What do I do about the large encampment, though? I don't really have the resources to send them home. don't really have the resources to welcome them, either. Shidani, do I want to buy things off of you? Ooh. For 96, you are offering... One blueprint of all blueprints to rule them all. Also, 32 will buy me half a point of reputation. That's not nothing. That's absolutely not nothing. It's kind of something. Here comes a waiting. I'll accept them with wide and broad open arms. May not be. Plus 50% of the amount of goods produced in small farms. That sounds great to me. Especially because I was thinking of making another one of them. If I cut down two trees up here, I will be able to make it comfortably. Also got all of these moss broccoli batches, which want a forages. Not going to have access to that for a bit. Send this one to the Citadel. In the meantime. Plus three to brick production would solve brick production forever. Brick production's already kind of been solved. I'm gonna take the 0.5 reputation. I'll take reputation wherever I can get it right now, frankly. Especially because of the Queen's invasions. Wow, that is a lot higher than I thought that was. Oh boy, I'm actually quite concerns now. one of the two of you double producers that would make this as easy as it can be for us one of them did great so that's now the ability to get 30 over to that totem of denial I'm going to take the two boxes from the makeshift post. Yeah, I'll take both. 
and then send them to the Totem of Denial. I really want to get a Harpy back in the Ancient Hearth, but at the same time, lowering my hostility with a Fox is more comfortable right now. If I do find that I end up failing this again... Uh, oh boy. I don't need either of those, dang. If I do find that I end up failing this yet again, that's... Probably the point at which I'll decide not to take the Fishman Ritual site again. Just seems like that'd be the uh, responsible choice to make at some point. with nothing nearby. That's great. Unfortunately, I can't currently burn a sea marrow in order to speed up the resolution of the Totem of Denial here. So it's still going to take until after the storm for the Totem of Denial to resolve. Making more porridge soon. We've got our grain coming in from this season. Trading posts are available. Very few provisions to sell. And one of them is grain. Yeah, I know, but I'd also like not to sell that, please. We have our reroll available again, which unfortunately I think I need to spend. Please stop offering me Weaver. Like, actually, please stop offering me Weaver. Uh, Cookhouse. That's the ability to make biscuits at a better rate than we're currently doing. That'll have to be good enough to take. And in fact, we're not making biscuits at all right now as I don't have the ability to harvest the appropriate things for it. Let's quickly steal a garden from a different area and pop down here. That's the additional plus 10% to production. And yep, there we go. No more biscuit production. Definitely don't need to make any additional incense now, either. We'll Humans are happy enough with what they have at the moment, but... I suspect as soon as we get to the storm, that's kinda gonna be game. I almost wonder if I should get ready to start breaking into an area. Eighty eight grain, I can get fifteen on a trade. House is coming up, but I don't have the ability to make any of the other ingredients for it. If I could forage this camp, that'd be good, but I can't. So, uh oh. Mm, 
much better rate for selling flour. And crystallized dew, even. Although I don't have enough packs of provisions to really justify doing that. sack until after this is done. Yay, now it is. That's another plus three to global resolve. That is handy. Point one seven per minute. I just don't see the way out of this at all. Maybe it was go to the Forbidden Glade earlier. Maybe that could have done something for us. Is a trader leaving? No. Why am I paused right now? I'm not certain. Stone Cutters Camp is done. Yep, in fact, both of them are, which is going to free up a lot of parts for us. In freeing up those parts, they've created the ability to harvest some roots. Those roots are going to be handy. Add some more biscuits. Newcomers want to arrive, but I really don't want to get additional hostility, but I'll probably have to take them anyway. Yeah. Sack some additional wood right now. And... Queen's Impatience is going to tip over the top. <laughs> Thirty seconds to save the run. Not even discovered the glade in time. Mm, don't have the ability to buy anything from you that will save the run immediately. Seven seconds now to save the run. That's not gonna happen. I really tried. <sighs> I was trying to dig uphill. Maybe if I didn't break open as many of those crates, I would have had the opportunity to use them otherwise. Two settlements dying here now does mean I'm not going to be making it to the titanium seal in time. Oh, no. Well, we'll focus on using the overgrown library and trying to pick up as many resources before the next cycle. My name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been This Spot is Doomed. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. Top left is a series playlist for all my content to the game past, present, and future YouTube recommendations down below. Stream past are the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody plays, rather, above the thanks to him as well as thanks to the episode to dialogue.